Okay, I'm here with uh, Brian uh, Sample in uh, VMware Copenhagen 2010. I got a couple of questions, Brian, for you. Okay, shoot. It's, it's crowded, as you can see here. Yeah. I want to move in closer. Why don't you come out of the booth a little closer? There we go. Okay, Brian. You won a gold uh, award in San Francisco. Yep. Can you tell us about it? Sure, we won gold, best of uh, VMworld San Francisco in the virtualization management category. Uh, we won with our, uh, our new capacity management product, which is what we're demonstrating here today. Uh, it's pretty busy, as you can tell. Uh, the, the, our win is a couple reasons. So one is it's a great product. It's a new release of the product. I think the other reason is it's a uh, validation that capacity management has truly become a top of mind issue for uh, VMware system administrators. In fact, in uh, a lot of the speech tested by VMworld and a survey that VMware, VMware did at VMware, VMworld San Francisco, over 50% of VM admins said that uh, uh, system performance and planning were their number one reason as to why they're having problems in the virtual environment. So I think you can find a great product with a top of mind issue and you get a gold. Yeah. Um, how about these uh, differences with the capacity IQ of VMware? Yeah, yeah. So uh, capacity IQ, we compete directly with it. It is the product from VMware. Uh, that product's been shipping about a year. We've been out of the gates now for about two years. Uh, you know, I. It's a good product. I think I'd rather talk about our product is really designed for large enterprise customers that need to scale anywhere from 50 to 5,000 VMs. And when you dig into kind of how our product operates, you'll see a lot of differences between us and some of the other products uh, that are on the market, specifically around scale. And I'm not talking about uh, technical scale. I'm actually talking about how you scale from a usable standpoint. Because what you find is, as environments get larger, the types of calculations people want to do in capacity management change, the way they want to visualize and look at their environment changes, uh, the way they want to exclude parts of the environment changes. It's those types of, uh, of uh, depth of expertise that we've incorporated in the product that makes us a winning product for larger scale environments. Uh, I have one more question. Uh, I would be interested, uh, how is the automation of the optimization process done? Uh, that, that's a good question. So, you know, we talked about scale in my last answer. So one of the things we found is as large organizations scale, they need both enhanced reporting, they need enhanced automation, they need enhanced ca uh, calculation routines. Uh, one, of the things that, one of the things we do is we help organizations right-size their product and right-size uh, their environment. And right-sizing meaning uh, VMs always get over-allocated storage, CPU, and memory. Uh, it's kind of the nature of the business. We go in with our right sizer and we help determine exactly which VMs have been over-allocated CPU memory and storage. What we found in larger environments is you can end up with a, long, a list this long of VMs that need to get right sized. Unless you provide an automated way for them to reclaim that, it's just too impossible for them to go work it. So new in the capacity management suite is the ability to do automated right sizing. Uh, where you literally can go in and schedule to reclaim CPU memory and storage at either a one-time basis or a scheduled basis. We work that all back through the VMware API, uh, back through vCenter to go execute those commands. And uh, about your future products? Future, future. Uh, you know, there is no, uh, there's no end to the depth of, of, of work we can do in capacity management. We continue to get amazed on a weekly, monthly basis. We're talking to a lot of our customers here who are showing up about the, the, uh, the, the things they need different in capacity management to meet their particular environment, especially in the larger environments. So it sounds a little ho-hum. I think the future will be more of the same, but it's going to be continuing to go deeper into capacity management and build out the functionality that our larger enterprise customers need. Thanks, you, Brian. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming up for, from Reunion Island. We hope. Why can't we have VMworld there next year? I, I hope think so. It'd be a good place to go. <laughs>